What's up, Sim Racers? Larry TJR Sim here, and today we're going to go over Auto Tuning Wizard for you with the Sim Commander 4 software. Uh, this is more of a beginner tutorial, so if you're an advanced user, you may not get as much out of this as uh, beginners. So I'm no expert in this by all means, but I do have a, a, a pretty good understanding of how the Sim Commander works uh, with the AccuForce. Uh, but I can always learn more. So if you know more, uh, drop the comments down below uh, to let me know and let the rest of the users uh, that will be watching these videos learn from your experience as well. So auto tuning, how do you do it? So after you've already loaded Sim Commander 4 and you get this little wheel here uh, of all these games that you can launch, you're gonna wanna launch one. Now before you go to launch one, you're gonna wanna go over here to the control panel and let's just take a set of Corsa for instance, right? Go over to the control panel and you will see, I'm gonna to go to the set of Corsa tab right here, right? And you will see here, telemetry logging. Don't worry about what all this stuff is. Name, you can change that to something, whatever you want. You can change your choose image to whatever you want as well later on, or it'll, it'll have the default image of the game, right? Uh, but telemetry logging, you're gonna to wanna to say uh, best lap, for the car and track, and uh, and that's it. Now you can click off of, of this. Go over here, double click on this tab. Uh, it'll launch the game, and you'll go run two, three laps. Try to keep them clean laps uh, on the racing line, and it will pull all that data in uh, into the game itself, and, uh, and then, yeah, that's it. Then you're gonna go want to select that and use that as your new profile, okay? <clears throat> so how you do that, so we ran a couple of laps, let's say, right? Uh, we go ahead and close out of the game itself, come back over here to the control panel, uh, launch the control center, and um, I suggest if you're done logging, uh, and I got this tip from someone else uh, that, that, that noticed one of my uh, videos because I was getting some clipping when I go across the start finish line and he said hey turn off your logging because uh, that's what it's doing because it, it, it stops the recording of it and restarts it again and it gives you a clip there so if you're experiencing this weird clipping when you go across the start finish line uh, this is what you want to do you want to turn off your logging set it to none and then you won't experience that clipping now, I tend to leave this on I forget about it and leave it on and I'd get this weird clip and I'd even get them out on track sometimes uh, where it would clip uh, oddly enough and I couldn't get rid of it until I turned this logging off. So uh, if you do experience this weird clipping, I hope this helps you uh, <laughs> to uh, turn it off. And uh, cause I, I tell you, you'd spend hours in forums trying to look for this. So <laughs> turn it off. But uh, uh, in this box here, description, you can log any information you want to in here to help remind you of something or if you're gonna share it to the uh, to the uh, forums for Sim Commander 4, the owner's club rather. Uh, this is some pertinent information that may help someone decide to use your setup. So, but let's digress. So we logged it, right? Now, how do we obtain any of this stuff that we logged? Well, there's a couple of ways to auto-tune, right? You can come over here to new and you can say uh, from telemetry log and go that route, right? Or you can come over here to your output mixer and go to auto tuning wizard. Now let's go down this route first. Now, before you do this, there's one important thing you want to remember is if you go down this route here, it's going to step on any settings that you currently have. Now, if you're working off the default of set of Corsa settings, no big deal because you can always auto discovery again and get those right back. Okay. Uh, but if there's something you've been working with already and spent some hours on, you don't want to step on those settings necessarily. So what I recommend is you duplicate it first, okay? So let's come over here and say, I'd name this one my GT1, 2, 3, 4, et cetera settings. This, this particular settings work great for GT uh, cars in my opinion, the way I like it. But I'm gonna go over here and click on auto discovery and boom, 11 SIM numbers were added. That's because I always delete uh, the defaults that come in because it just clutters up my little wheel there, like I mentioned. But anyway, let's go over here to a set of course. Uh, see, there's the default one, like I just mentioned. And uh, where'd my duplicate go? It didn't go. See, duplicate. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I clicked on auto discovery first. Well, that's another good explanation there for you. I should have just clicked on duplicate. So, click on duplicate, and uh, now you will see that this launched the, uh, the same exact description, but with duplicate on the end of it. Now, this is the one I'm gonna wanna mess with. And let's go into the output mixer. I'm gonna go into auto-tune wizard, and uh, you can reset the defaults. That just means it's going to pull the sim commander for settings, whatever they deemed as a default settings, and auto fill them in for like road effects, uh, steering, uh, uh, not really the steering foundation effects. That's going to come from your telemetry logging, but um, uh, RPM, engine RPM, stuff like that uh, will auto set. It's always it's always the same. Uh, so a certain percentage of, of road intensity and blah blah blah. So. Don't worry about that one, uh, but if you get lost, you can reset that partic this particular one to defaults and start over again if you'd like to. Or you can just do what I did, hit auto discovery, and it'll pull in a set of Corsa, in this case, the game we're working with, as the defaulted one there. So, But I digress. Let's go back to auto-tuning wizard on my duplicate one. Auto-tuning wizard, let's click on auto-tune creates effect settings from recorded lap telemetry file. Click on that one. Go down here to the bottom where it says next. All right, and you will see these two ticked already. Accu for steering wheel, which is what I'm detecting it for, and reset defaults. Again, it resets everything uh, like RPM and bumps and stuff to a default setting. This auto tuning wizard to me is only good for trying to figure out your uh, stern foundation and your gain force feedback that was would be optimal for you without any oscillations or uh, clipping. Well, not necessarily oscillations because you can still get them, but clipping. Uh, so anyway, go click next, and now you see you have a selection here. So we're in auto. Uh, we're trying to set it for a set of courses. So I'm going to click on a set of courses, and these are all the little settings that I had that I went out on track with different cars and stuff. So let's just say we were doing. Um, this Janetta one at spa I like that one right there so I'm gonna click it and it's kind of hard that you see that you clicked it but it's a little grayed out here see when I click another one this one's grayed uh, and and the other cells are darker I wish they would have more of a contrasty look there so you can visually see better what you actually clicked on but anyway this is the one that I, I'm gonna pick on and uh, this is the spa one with this KS um, I forget whatever that stood for, but uh, and come down here to the bottom, select auto tuning template. You're going to want to click intelligent peaks and leave everything else as default. Click next, and it gives you this uh, sim commander log file of all the parameters that it picked. Okay, and then click on finish at the bottom. Now you have everything that it says that is optimal for the game including your sim vibe chassis your seat your pedals your shifter sim vibe wheel uh everything that you may have set up with transducers or motion and all that as well if you had motion uh if you had sim experience motion right uh i'm only interested in the accuforce steering so i generally come over here and delete all these because i use next level racing v3 motion rig and uh, I pull the motion and I run my transducers through it. So I digress. If there's any tabs that you don't want, don't be afraid to delete them. You just click on delete, select it output, and you see there it goes away. Uh, the seat as well, it's in by pedals as well, shifter, yes, and the wheel. We're going to delete that here. And I just like to get rid of the clutter. If I'm not ever going to use it, why have it? So you will see some of the game fault defaults here. I always see 95% intensity for the game force feedback. And sometimes I see enable dynamic force boost on. Sometimes I see it off. I can see why they would probably turn it off because the set of course is very reactive to things and overreacts in a lot of cases with game force feedback uh, to certain bumps and stuff. So I could see that they would automatically turn that off. Uh, however, I generally turn it back on and just start adjusting smoothing to my liking. But these are the settings. So you auto-tuned tune this and you're going to want to go out on track and check it out. Now you see here all these little settings. It, it kind of auto-tunes like the the uh, game force. Let's go down the list. The game force feedback smoothing, 
around 15%. That's always the same. That's a default setting. Uh, the AccuForce Fluid Dampening, that's another default setting, although it's not turned on because a lot of times you don't even need this effect on. Uh, friction, another one's not turned on because it really depends on what car you're running, although this set it for a particular car and track. Uh, inertia, same thing, default setting. They're always 1.18 uh, and they're selected off. The oscillation at stationary, that's how heavy the wheel is turning left and right when you're stationary, right? That's always 100% and it's around a 40% uh, dampening effect. Oh, this time it gave it 50. A lot of times I see it around the 40% mark, but this time it gave it 50. Uh, so it's basically harder to turn at, at a setting. If you move, move this all the way up to 200%, then it's going to be even tougher, right? Uh, but anyway, uh, oscillation when moving, you're going to want to do that. If you have an oscillation when moving, you don't want to click it on. RPM is always around 15%. Steering feedback foundation, this is at 166. This is what's important for the auto tuning. Uh, the steering feedback foundation, this is really all I'd use auto tuning for is to figure this particular part out uh, to make it easier for you to get a, a, a good comfy feeling that you're not gonna have any clipping. So, uh, and this one will control your oscillations as well when you're using steering feedback foundation. Now. Do you have steering feedback foundation on and game force feedback on at the same time? Yes, you can, but your wheel will be extremely heavy depending on your settings for both. If you have your game force feedback up really high and your steering feedback down low, not at default or, or not at what it's suggesting, uh, then you can get away with it and get nice feeling through your wheel. Uh, however, let's just go down the route that you, I'm teaching you how to do auto discovery and you're gonna use one or the other at first. Uh, later on, as you advance, you will uh, go ahead and do more if you like to, and I'll give you situations later on uh, when you may wanna do that. So uh, go out on track, run these settings, uh, see how you like it. If you like it, great. If you don't, come back here and start adjusting things. Don't be afraid to add to this if you, if you want to. Uh, we're gonna assume you're gonna go about on track, try out game force feedback on 95%. If you love it, great. If you don't, you don't feel enough uh, road effects or something like that, uh, and you wanna add some, you can come over here to the add tab effect, and then let's say you want uh, some lateral G-forces, right? Uh, and said, okay, it's gonna drop down at the bottom like you see here, and you can go ahead and click it on and start adjusting to your liking. Uh, I won't go into what all these all do here because this is about auto-tuning right now. So, uh, but yeah, you can adjust to wherever you want, right? Uh, if you don't want it, turn it back off. So pretty easy stuff here. So that's one way to do auto tuning. And uh, you will see that the name of course here is, is there in the description. Now, second way to auto tune, let's do the same thing. Go to new, uh, from telemetry logging. I'm gonna do a set of course again. And I'm gonna see if I can see that same one here, spa and go down here and tells you peaks. It's the exact same process as you before. You're either doing it with an existing profile to step on it, or you're doing it with a new profile, right? Uh, and you hit okay. Boom, we got another one. Now you see here in a set of course, I have two with the exact same name. Uh, they're both auto-tuned, they both have the same stuff, right? Um, but this one has the telemetry set on none, the logging, because I copied it from my initial set of course, uh, GT1 where I had the telemetry on none. So keep that in mind. Uh, you're not gonna want that clipping across the start finish line, right? So uh, the second one that we auto-tuned from the new profile, this one has best uh, laps for this car. I go ahead and switch it off to none. And uh, later on, if I wanna put it on my favorite screen, then great, it's there. Uh, same thing again, go to auto, auto oh, I'm sorry, auto output mixer tab here and you will see all the default settings here now you see that this comes in different here i can actually hit x here delete this output right here on the fly based on this view the view right now is on summary if you change it to tab view you see that they put them in tabs right uh, and then you'd have to go click on each tab and hit delete itself uh, but this particular setting is actually pretty handy as far as far as uh, what you want to manipulate. So uh, if you go over here to summary, it's easier just to click them off. I don't want that one, don't want that one. 
don't want that one. I just want the AccuForce. Now, and now I still have device settings and all that stuff. Just like I covered in the very first video, the device settings, uh, these are the ones that pre-selected for you. It kept it on default in this case as well. Uh, anyway, that is it there as far as the second measure of auto-tuning. Let's go on to the third measure of auto-tuning. And uh, that's where you pull down stuff from the owner's club, right? So I'm gonna go to new and get from owner's club online. And once you're here, you will see gain. And we're gonna say a set of Corsa. Uh, track, I really don't care. Although I just clicked on it and it's freaking out. <laughs> it's trying to probably pull down a list of tracks. There it goes. Uh, I don't really care. You can say universal or select nothing, right? Uh, but I, since I'm interested in just the AccuForce, I click the AccuForce box and I go with that one. Um, and go ahead and hit, sir. Oh, now if you're interested in all the other settings, the Simbub shifter, pedals and all that, you want to select all the ones that you're interested in, right? Uh, but hit search. And there you go. There's all the little settings for different people. Uh, that spent some time on getting their setups. Now, let's just say you want this very first one. Instead, of course, the blend vest. Uh, click on it and come down here at the bottom of the screen here where it says download, select it. And that's it. You got it. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota. So uh, that was just to wake you up just in case you got bored because I got a monotone voice sometimes, right? So <laughs> uh, now you see this is set, of course, the blend vest. That is already set up, and this guy has it set pre-default as best laps for this car. He has logging on, okay? Uh, you wanna go ahead and turn that off so you don't get the clipping. And go ahead and check out his settings. He has smoothing at eight, and not, he doesn't have a lot of uh, uh, smoothing. It looks like he locked the steering feedback foundation uh, for whatever reason, you can toggle that on and off. Uh, but, uh, he's probably trying to tell you hey leave these settings alone and adjust something else in there to get the effects you may want but uh anyway this is the settings he has 75 percent intensity he has no dynamic force boost on his device settings were set on default uh smoothing like i said was eight he has the intensity down to 54 percent so he, you know he's really wanting to lighten up the wheel uh, so you may not like that if you don't crank it on up I wouldn't like it, I know. Uh, it's just too light for me. But uh, he has a little bit of friction, a little bit of above uh, default settings, so he did actually put some effort into this, which is good. Uh, dampening, he has it turned off. He probably has it set at 392 for maybe a specific car that he used. So a lot of these settings are, are from the owner's club or kind of general overview settings for maybe a particular series that these people like to run. And I'm gonna to try to get better at naming mine as well. Uh, I'll name, like I'll upload mine with GT1, GT2, 3, 4, et cetera. Just that one by itself. And then one just LMP cars, that one just by itself. Uh, so it'd be more descriptive to people that may download it. So anyway, engine RPM, he likes a lot of engine RPM, 50%. Hey, I jive with that. Uh, his steering foundation feedback, road bumps and front suspension. So. Uh, that is this particular guy's settings and that pretty much explains the three ways that you're going to use auto tuning uh, so we were going to get on to the next video here i hope this was helpful i threw in a little bit of tips in there and elongated this video a little bit uh, but uh, hopefully it helped explain uh, some things to you uh, for these settings and stuff but yep three ways to auto tune uh, if you forget it, you can always come back to this video later. So anyway, we'll check you out on the track later. Stay tuned for some more videos. All right.